For years, I've been a huge believer in the first thing I want to know on rechecking a cat with any chronic disease, but particularly CKD. First thing I want to know is what is the weight? What is the weight? What is the weight? None of us lose weight without trying. And the same is true of our feline patients. So if they've lost a little bit of weight and you haven't changed their diet or had them take up running, then something metabolically has shifted. And that's the time to find out what is going on and make a good plan. We see some of these cats that progressively lose weight with their CKD. And even though we as doctors are doing all we can to mitigate the other impacts of their kidney disease, if their weight's moving down, then the client perception is they don't feel well and quality of life potentially is poor. What we do know in cats with chronic kidney disease is the importance of dietary manipulations and getting these cats onto diets that are more suitable for their chronic kidney disease has been well established as being a major player in those cats living longer. So if we can keep them eating and eating well, hopefully we can manage their disease much more successfully. Allura really is a very exciting drug because it's part of a whole new drug class called the ghrelin receptor agonists. And so these are drugs that lock into the receptors that are usually activated by ghrelin. And ghrelin is our hunger hormone. It's a hormone that's produced by the stomach. And the longer it's been since you've last had a meal, the higher your ghrelin concentrations get. And then as soon as you eat, ghrelin um, secretion is stopped and those levels will drop down again. And then they'll pick back up again as your stomach empties and it's been hours since you've eaten. And so caprimrelin works like ghrelin. It's going to land on those receptors in the brain that make us feel hungry. The other thing that ghrelin does, and its agonists do the same thing, is promote the secretion of growth hormone. So growth hormone also tends to promote appetite, but it really supports muscular weight gain. And so now we have a patient who, thanks to the Allura, has a hunger, is more inclined to eat, and then is going to use those calories to build muscle and gain solid weight, not just fat weight. My feeling would be, if you identify CKD in a cat and you have evidence of weight loss, go ahead and start the Allura. Don't wait to see that cat back in three months and say, yep, you know what? You are definitely down from when I first diagnosed your CKD. If you have a cat that you don't have any evidence of weight loss, and so as best you can tell, it hasn't lost any weight, then I probably would hold tight unless the cat was in a poor body condition score or had a poor muscle condition score. Other time I would reach for it is if I'm transitioning a cat onto one of the renal diets. My feeling is to start the Allura while the cat is still on its standard food for a few days, get the cat really hungry, and then introduce my target kidney friendly diet to a cat who's already got a slightly cranked up appetite. Now the Allura in the studies was, um, was followed for, for two months in those cats, but my feeling would be it, there's every reason to continue chronic use. I've used Entice very chronically in many of my canine patients with CKD. We know that it's going to be well tolerated and safe in patients who've got renal compromise. And also because of how it works as far as its impacts on growth hormone, it actually physiologically makes a lot more sense to continue using Allura every day long, long, long term for our cats with CKD. So I tend to think of Allura as, and Entice as siblings. They both have the same basic drug and so they're both Caprimrel and liquid products. The flavorings in the Entice and the Allura are slightly different. Great effort's been taken to try and make those two drugs as easy to medicate as possible. If the lab work is stable, but the cat is skinnier, my experience has shown this cat's not going to do well. It's not going to do well versus if the blood work is progressive, but the cat's weight is holding, that cat's gonna hang in there. From a client's perspective, seeing your cat happily run up to the food bowl and eat its kidney diet is tremendously powerful as far as, yes, my cat is battling a chronic condition. And yes, I have to get meds in on a regular basis. And yes, we have to take trips to the vet, but my cat is happy and sassy and eating at home.